Hello, welcome to the Bakwas channel for self-paced tutorials on robotics. This presentation introduces the Robomaster Tello Talent drone from DJI based on the Tello EDU drone by Rise Robotics. For it. This slide demonstrates a movement by the Tello drone that does not require any programming. There are other similar demonstration movements to ease the transition into custom interactions with the drone without worrying about programming. The drone will take off automatically upon cue, perform a single flip, and then land safely. The drone can perform eight different flip movements. The DJI Robot Master TT Tello Talent is a major upgrade from the Rise Robotics Tello EDU drone. It is still a small, lightweight drone. It leverages the proven DJI flight control solution that is popular for consumer and commercial applications. It is programmable using graphical drag and drop blocks. Higher level languages such as Python and C or C++ are alternate options for programming. The onboard camera leverages the drone's fast multi-core processor to generate stabilized video output. The newly added ESP32 open source module permits attachment of third party sensors for I squared C, SPI, UART, and GPIO interfaces. This presentation will not conduct a deep dive into programming the Tello Talent to keep the duration of the video within self-imposed limits. If the next tutorial that will focus on programming becomes popular, the plans are to use additional drones to perform swarm movements with multiple drones. Unboxing the Tello Talent basic shipment box reveals the following components. The aircraft. There are three color options for the body. Propellers. Two for clockwise rotation and two for counterclockwise rotation. And a full set of spares four propeller guards, a battery, a cable, a hardware accessory on top or hat to attach diverse sensors. The hat comes attached with an 8 by 8 LED matrix. A propeller removal tool that must be used to detach propellers from the motors without damaging either part. The Tello battery charging hub can accommodate up to three Tello flight batteries concurrently. The Tello battery charging hub charges batteries in sequence according to their voltage levels from highest to lowest. This hub does not include a charger since it interfaces with industry standard power outlets through an USB port rated at 5 volts and 3 amps. The charging time for three batteries is approximately two hours. 
a minimum of two spare flight batteries are recommended so that quick development exercises or practice runs can be performed without undue delays. Of course, the more the merrier when it comes to batteries for uninterrupted development or tests. Spare propellers are highly recommended even though it is sincerely hoped that one wouldn't have to use these. Since the Tello is intended for indoor use, a carrying case is not being recommended here, but one should plan on using a storage box to keep all physical components in a container for easy access. The Tello is super safe. Its lightweight yet durable design combined with hardware and software protections support flying with confidence. Auto takeoff and landing permits lift off or land with a single tap. Low battery protection alerts go off when the battery is low. Fail-safe protection lands the drone safely even when connection is lost. Vision positioning system uses a smart technology solution to facilitate precise hovering. A single tap is all it takes to take off or land without further interaction. When the battery power decreases to a low state, alerts are displayed for subsequent operator action. In the event that the flight controller cannot communicate with the Tello, the drone will land safely to forestall further unanticipated conditions. The vision provisioning system helps the Tello to hover with precision to the extent practical with such a low-cost budget drone. The Vision Provisioning System VPS, uses a camera and a 3D infrared module. The latter is located on the underside of the drone. There are basic range limitations for the Vision Provisioning System in terms of height the ambient light, and the nature of the surface beneath the drone. When the vision provisioning system is unavailable, the status LED will blink slowly. If the vision provisioning system is inoperative for three seconds, then the drone will initiate automatic landing. If the vision provisioning system recovers during landing, then the drone will simply hover. The Tello Talent has several safety features to make the experience more durable for anyone embarking on using a simple drone for the first time. Propeller guards reduce the risk of damage to persons or objects from inadvertent collision with propellers that rotate at very high speeds. 
The TeloTalent uses two infrared sensors on the bottom of the drone to detect obstacles or objects that are close to the drone. It is limited to detecting large objects that are close to the sensors. With battery and propeller guards installed, the Tello weighs approximately 3 ounces or 90 grams. Its lightweight makes it suitable for indoor flying where collision is more common. The drone is powered by a MediaTek MT7688 processor. This processor has four cores with a clock speed of 1.3 gigahertz. It is a relatively powerful processor for a drone of this size. The advantage of this processor in the drone is that it allows the drone to fly more smoothly and responsibly. It allows the drone to process video footage more quickly, which is important for features like object tracking and obstacle avoidance. Here are some of the specific advantages of the processor in the Tello Talent drone. Smoother flight. The drone is able to fly more smoothly and responsibly than drones with less powerful processors. This is because the processor is able to process the signals from the drone's sensors more quickly, which allows the drone to make adjustments to its flight path more quickly. Faster video processing. The drone is able to process video footage more quickly than drones with less powerful processors. This is important for features like object tracking and obstacle avoidance, which require the drone to process video footage in real time. More powerful flight modes. The drone has a number of flight modes that require a powerful processor. These modes include the following. Quick shots. These are pre-programmed flight paths that the drone can follow. 360 selfie. This mode allows the drone to take a 360 degree photo or video around itself. Tap fly. This mode allows the user to tap on the screen to control the drone's flight path. Overall, the processor in the drone is a significant advantage over drones with less powerful processors. It allows the drone to fly more smoothly and responsively, and it allows the drone to process video footage more quickly. This makes the drone a more versatile and capable drone for a variety of applications. The Tello Talent does not have true collision avoidance. It has only collision detection. This means that the drone can detect obstacles, but it cannot automatically avoid them. If the drone detects an obstacle, it will either stop or slow down. The drone uses two infrared sensors on the bottom of the drone to detect obstacles. These sensors are used to detect the ground and other objects that are close to the drone. The drone also uses a camera to detect obstacles. The camera is used to detect objects that are further away from the drone. The collision detection system in the Tello Talent is not very sophisticated. It can only detect large, close objects. It cannot detect small objects or objects that are far away. In an environment with a lot of obstacles, the drone may not be able to avoid all obstacles. The following observations should be noted. Fly the drone at a low altitude. Fly the drone slowly. 
Be aware of your surroundings. Avoid flying the drone near people or animals. If you see an obstacle, stop or slow down the drone. There are third-party apps to improve the collision avoidance capabilities of the Tello Talent. These software solutions have their limitations too. The Tello Talent is a small, lightweight drone. It is not designed for flying in complex or challenging environments. Flying the Tello Talent in an environment with a lot of obstacles requires caution. The light weight of the Tello Talent drone has several advantages, including it is easier to fly. The lighter weight of the drone makes it easier to control, especially for beginners. This is because it takes less force to move the drone, which makes it less likely to drift or lose control. It is less likely to cause damage. If the drone does collide with something, the lighter weight means that it is less likely to cause damage to itself or to the object it collides with. This makes it a safer choice for flying indoors or in areas where there are people or objects nearby. It can fly for longer. The lighter weight of the drone means that it can fly for longer on a single battery charge. This is because the drone doesn't have to work as hard to lift itself off the ground and stay in the air. It can be flown in more places. The light weight of the drone means that it can be flown in places where heavier drones are not allowed, such as indoor areas or near airports. Overall, the light weight of the drone is a significant advantage that makes it a more versatile and capable drone for a variety of applications. Here are some additional things to keep in mind about the light weight of the drone. The light weight also means that the drone is not as stable in windy conditions. If you are planning to fly the drone, you should do so in calm conditions. The light weight also means that the drone has a shorter flight time than heavier drones owing to lighter batteries. The drone has a flight time of about 13 minutes, while heavier drones can have flight times of up to 30 minutes. Despite these limitations, the light weight of the Tello Talent is a major advantage that makes it a good choice for a variety of users, including beginners, educators, and hobbyists. The Tello Talent drone is powered by a MediaTek MT7688 processor. This ARM system on a chip is a quad-core processor with a clock speed of 1.3 GHz. It is a relatively powerful processor for a drone of this size. The advantage of the processor in the Tello Talent drone is that it allows the drone to fly more smoothly and responsively. It also allows the drone to process video footage more quickly, which is important for features like object tracking and obstacle avoidance. Here are some of the specific advantages of the processor in the drone. Smoother flight. The drone is able to fly more smoothly and responsively than drones with less powerful processors. 
This is because the processor is able to process the signals from the drone's sensors more quickly, which allows the drone to make adjustments to its flight path more quickly. Faster video processing. The drone is able to process video footage more quickly than drones with less powerful processors. This is important for features like object tracking and obstacle avoidance, which require the drone to process video footage in real time. More powerful flight modes. The drone has a number of flight modes that require a powerful processor. These modes include the following. Quick shots. These are pre-programmed flight paths that the drone can follow. 360 degrees selfie. This mode allows the drone to take a 360 degree photo or video around itself. Tap fly. This mode allows the user to tap on the screen to control the drone's flight path. Overall, the processor in the Tello Talent drone is a significant advantage over drones with less powerful processors. It allows the drone to fly more smoothly and responsively. And it also allows the drone to process video footage more quickly. This makes the drone a more versatile and capable drone for a variety of applications. There are three categories of status whose states are displayed by the LED device adjacent to the camera at the front of the drone. The categories are normal, charging, and warning. The Telos aircraft status indicator communicates the status of the aircraft's flight control system and the flight battery. The aircraft status indicator is located on the aircraft's nose next to the camera. The three types of states when the status is in normal state are blinking, blinking twice periodically, and blinking slowly. When the Tello status indicator LED device displays blue color, the aircraft is in the charging state. There are three patterns of display in the charging state. Steady light when the charging is complete, blinking slowly when charging, blinking quickly in the event of an error owing to charging. The warning states are communicated in yellow or red color as shown on the slide. Loss of remote signal is displayed as a quickly blinking yellow light. The graduated states for red light are blink slowly for low battery, blink quickly for critical battery state, and steady, that is no blinking, for an error state. Scratch is a simple block-based visual programming interface. The SDK, preloaded or uploaded as firmware, permits granular control of the drone. The simulator is not free. This commercial product is beyond the scope of this tutorial. The hat has a micro USB port to connect to a desktop or notebook 
that can run Arduino sketches for the drone. Sketches are C or C++ programs. The drone can be connected directly by Wi-Fi to a desktop or notebook for software development using Python. While there are many diverse Python libraries, most of these libraries simply encapsulate the Tello EDU SDK to eliminate the worry about lower level socket programming. The current version number of the SDK is 3.0. Scratch is a block-based visual programming language and website aimed primarily as an educational tool. Users on the site, called Scratchers, can create projects using a block-like interface. Scratch is a powerful tool that can be used to create a wide variety of projects, including games, animations, stories, and interactive simulations. It is also a great way to learn the basics of programming as it uses simple, easy to understand blocks that can be combined to create complex programs. Some of the benefits of learning Scratch are a way to introduce programming concepts, help develop problem-solving and critical skills. The Tello EDU control app has a number of advantages over the standard Tello app. These advantages include support for more programming languages. The Tello EDU app supports Scratch, Swift, and Python. Mission Pads. The Tello EDU app comes with four mission pads, which are physical waypoints that the drone can recognize and respond to. This makes it easy to create and fly programmed missions. Access to the video stream. The Tello EDU app allows access to the video stream data from the drone, which can be used to create more advanced programs that interact with the environment. The Tello Talent has a 5 megapixel image processor that permits recording of quality photos and videos. The Easy Shots option records coordinated videos with circle, 360, and up and away. In circle mode, the drone records a video while flying in a circle. In 360 mode, the drone records a video while rotating 360 degrees. In up and away mode, the drone records a short video while flying upward and backward. Electronic image stabilization captures consistently clear images. This feature is enabled through the power of the multi-core processor. The HD camera preserves great memories with high resolution pictures. Let us take a deeper look into the specifications of the Tello Talent with respect to the following categories. Aircraft, flight performance, camera, and power requirements. The Tello drone has the following built-in functions. 
rangefinder. It is possible to use Wi-Fi extenders to extend the flight range, but one has to be careful about returning the drone to the base under outdoor conditions. Barometer, LED, vision system, and Wi-Fi. The maximum flight distance for the Tello Talent is 100 meters. The use of Wi-Fi extenders may assist in increasing this distance, but outdoor operations is always going to be challenging for this lightweight drone. The standard battery, when fully charged, permits a maximum flying time of 13 minutes. The drone will not fly higher than 30 meters owing to internal constraints. The maximum speed of the drone is 8 meters per second. The Tello Talent has a 5 megapixel camera that is capable of recording at 2592 by 1936 pixel resolution. The field of view is 82.6 degrees. The video recording rate is 720p at 30 frames per second. Video recording format is MP4. Image recording format is JPEG. Electronic image stabilization captures consistently clear images. The battery capacity is 1.1 ampere hours at the rated voltage of 3.8 volts DC. It is a lithium polymer LiPo type. Its weight is around 25 grams. It is strongly recommended that recharging the battery should be undertaken only when its temperature is less than 112 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius. Tello Talent offers a new dimension for photography with a flight distance of 100 meters. Two antennae configuration makes video transmission at 720p extra stable. After 13 minutes of flight time, the standard battery will have to be swapped. This use case identifies the need for a battery pack to have reserve batteries fully charged and ready for swap. The three quick demonstrations are throw and go, 8D flips, bounce mode. Throw and go permits the user to launch the drone by gently throwing it in the air. 8D flips makes the drone flip in one of eight directions, forward, backward, right, and left. In bounce mode, the drone automatically flies up and down between 1.6 and 3.9 feet above a flat surface. If the drone detects an object below it, such as the user's hand, it increases its altitude and then continues flying up and down. switch on the Tello, the status LED light will cycle through the basic colors and then settle for a blinking yellow color. This status indicates that there is no connection to a mobile device.
on your mobile device where the Tello app resides, go to settings and select Wi-Fi. Connect to the Tello SSID RMTT dash on your mobile device, launch the Tello app and connect to the Tello. Once connection is established, the status light will blink green. Always pay attention to safety instructions. Make sure there are no obstacles around the Tello and then proceed to prepare for takeoff. On the main page of the Tello app, at the top left hand corner, touch the takeoff button and then slide the bar on the message box to take off. After takeoff, this button on the top left hand corner changes to a land button. Touch this button when you are ready to land the drone. The key steps for throw and go are press the power button once to turn on the drone. Tap the flight mode button and then select throw and go. Place the drone on one's palm. Read any warning prompts. Tap the play button to start. The propellers will start spinning slowly. You have five seconds to complete the remaining steps. Gently throw the drone upward and horizontal from any obstacle, keeping it horizontal. The propellers will spin more quickly. The drone will hover in place. The steps for 8D flips are Press the power button once to turn on the drone. Touch X and then select 8D flips. Heed all warnings. Select start. Swipe within the box in the app window. The drone will flip in the direction corresponding to the swipe selection. Touch X to exit the demonstration.
the steps for bounce mode are press the power button once to turn on the drone launch the Tello app and tap to take off tap and then select bounce mode read the information prompt and then select start the drone will start flying up and down extend your arm and place your palm one foot approximately 30 centimeters or more below the drone keeping your palm open the aircraft will increase its altitude and then continue flying up and down tap in the Tello EDU app anytime to exit bounce Tello supports mobile apps to fly the drone anytime or anywhere with intuitive controls. With virtual reality headset compatibility, one can fly with a first-person view, often referred to as FPV. The DJI flight tech uses industry-leading components to ensure stable flights. The flight control algorithms ensure flight safety. The Tello app has a user-friendly interface to get started quickly. The controller has basic compatibility for precise control of the flying experience. Flying Tello couldn't be easier. This tutorial provided an overview of the Tello Talent drone. The specifications were reviewed, the built-in features were examined, and some custom programs were run to operate the drone. That's all, folks. Please provide feedback in any which way you can. And also, stay tuned for the next tutorial in this series. This presentation was prepared with assistance as noted on the slide. My apologies if I have unintentionally or inadvertently omitted anyone or any resource. A very big thank you to y'all. Come back to the channel soon.